welcoming back the souls of the dead for a brief reunion. That's the goal for many who celebrate this Mexican holiday, also known as Day of the Dead. And we have 13 Action News reporter Abel Garcia live right now at Springs Preserve. They're getting all set up for their Dia de los Muertos festival this weekend. Abel, good morning. Kalina and Dave, buenos dias. This is my family's and I's favorite Mexican holiday. And let me go ahead and show you this altar that's right here behind me. It is just such a traditional and beautiful holiday. Really, really just igniting this entire area with lots of flowers, lots of beautiful things to really try to welcome those souls back here to planet Earth. And of course, this is becoming more and more popular here in North America. And I spoke to the artist of this altar and he says it's a way to build a portal between him and those he's lost. We are celebrating life here. We're not celebrating death, we're celebrating life. And we're waiting for our loved ones to return. Isaias Uralazo created this beautiful altar to help guide his mother's spirit back home. His mother passed away last year because of complications related to COVID. But on this Day of the Dead celebration, he can't wait to welcome her home. Really, this is her legacy. This is a part of the beauty that she left her children, seven of us. She partook uh, in creating this ofrenda with us the four years that, that, she was, uh, that we did it here. Each year, Urabaso and his family celebrate this Mexican holiday known as Dia de los Muertos. It takes place from October 31st to November 2nd. But this year, this holiday is bringing together his whole family to celebrate their mother. Losing a parent from uh, COVID and also having uh, brothers and sisters that also were affected by COVID-19. Um, I just, I'm so glad that even though we lost my mom, uh, I'm glad that my brothers and sisters were able to be here to still create something so beautiful. Uralazo says during this time, the gates of heaven are opened, allowing spirits to return to their families for a brief reunion. But this year during this health crisis, he says it will be very challenging for hundreds of families like his. We've lost so many people this past year and people are still grieving. And in that grief, there is beauty here. Urabaso and his family built this altar with a cathedral theme, filled with bright colored flowers and things that reminded them of their loved ones. The Dia de los Muertos festival taking place this weekend at Spring Preserve will be filled with altars like this. Many leave their past relatives favorite foods and other offerings for them to enjoy. How beautiful of a celebration this is to think my loved ones coming back for this one beautiful day we should deck out the place as beautiful as it can for their, their homecoming. Now, a common thing that you will see at many of Dia de los Muertos celebrations are these flowers. They're called marigolds, and it's actually a really interesting concept behind them. Many people set these throughout altars and cemeteries to give off that smell and help guide those spirits back here to planet Earth. And Dave and Kalina, I'm not sure if you guys have seen the movie Coco, but let me tell you, I highly recommend this movie because it does a wonderful job of explaining the entire concept behind Dia de los Muertos, what it means for our Mexican culture and the importance behind it. Really, really good movie. Spoiler alert though, let me tell you, it is a crier. I bawled my eyes out towards the end. So for those of you who haven't seen it, definitely watch it. I highly recommend it. It's right. so funny that Abel's bringing that up right now because Justin and I just had a conversation of our top movies that make uh -huh. us cry and Coco was on that sure. list, but also great advice because it really does do a great job of kind of putting everything into perspective when it comes to Dia de los Muertos. Abel, thank you so much. We appreciate your reporting, and it looks beautiful out there. Have a great one.